camera or something. He responded, one million. Oh, thank God, she exclaimed. <coughs> See, she was cold, as if she would be alive in one million years, let alone one billion. And she still asked the question. Go ahead, be bold. Question the answers. Our commencement speaker questioned the odds of becoming a professional football player. Thank God he did. You can do anything if you try. Walk proudly from this day forward. Question the answers. And as you do, go with God's richest blessing. Congratulations.
Shoot the ball, man. Shoot the ball or I'm going to get it, Cam Cam. Coming for the ball. Play basketball, man. Play basketball. I'm not taking pictures. Play basketball. Let's do it. Daddy's using some binoculars. Don't worry. And you're using Good afternoon. My journey through elementary school has been an adventurous one. Elementary school has laid my foundation. It has taught me to read, write, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. I began school at Hickory Grove Elementary where I attended kindergarten. First grade was when I first started going to Moorhead and I've been here ever since. Changing schools gave me an incentive to work hard and work hard I did. With that hard work and the help of my teachers, I passed grade after grade. But now that fifth grade is coming to an end, I look forward to new challenges and adventures ahead. It will be hard to leave all of my wonderful teachers, but I have to because my dream is to get the best education I can and to have that education complete. So goodbye elementary and hello middle school. class. We 
have Neil Patel, Alexis Teasdale, Clay McLean, Jaquise Kelly, Ashley Evans, Michelle Cole, and Jerisha Carmichael. And finally, from Ms. Haynes' class, last but not least, we have Brandon Nock, Olivia Potts, Alex Rodriguez, Megan Williams, Alicia Lamont, Chaney Harris, Erin Graves, Kiona Dockery, Christian Bush, and Graham Bennett. Ms. Horn, Ms. Jarvis, and I have had a wonderful time working with these students. You can tell what a wonderful group they are just by seeing them up here. They did a fantastic job. Please give them a big round of applause.
this year there are others who should be recognized. When looking at each grade level, there was a clear group of students who stood out from the casual participants. Participation in the program grows each year with 57,000 schools and nearly 4 million students receiving these esteemed awards uh, in 2002. Students are eligible for one of two. There's the President's Award for Education of Excellence and the President's Award for Educational Achievement. For each award, students receive certificates signed by the President, 
the U.S. Secretary of Education, and me. They are also lapel pins inscribed with the presidential seal to accompany the certificates. The fate of America lies in the hands of our leaders. Some of the long-term problems and challenges we face today, plus many new ones, will be handed on to our children, who will make decisions based on the information and education we have given them. We must equip them in their formative years so they will be ready when their time comes to take up those awesome responsibilities. Our schools are the primary resource for enabling America's children to meet the challenges they will surely face in the future. In order for them to be prepared for whatever lies ahead, we must always encourage students to try harder, reach higher, and expand their imaginations. Recognition of their outstanding effort and achievement is vital for motivating students to be successful. The first award I'm going to give, and if you would hold your applause, and boys and girls, when you get your certificate, if you would line them down at the bottom here so parents can take pictures and smile and all those things. The first one I'm going to give is, for, is the President's Award for Educational Achievement. With that, they will have a, a, uh, a certificate with a sil silver seal and a le white lapel pin. The purpose of this award is to recognize students that show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subjects. It is meant to encourage and reward students who work hard and give their best effort. I'm very pleased to call the following students. Once again, if you owe your applause, we have several who earned this award at this time. Ezra Batts, Melinda Belcher, and Tiffy Lost. DeAndrea Brown, <laughs> Ryan Brown, Christian Coe, Michelle Cole, Faust, Montel Francis. Heather Funderburg, Jeremy Grissett, Jasmine House, Ariel Johnson, Jacquees Kelly. Ronnie Killings, George Kim, Alicia Lamont, Javante Lee, Justin Mims, Nick Moel. Aisha Muhammad, President Montgomery, what is the Presidential's Award for uh, Academic, uh, Educational Excellence. And the purpose of this award is to recognize academic success in the classroom. Students who earn this award, have, they will have to have a 3.5 or better on a 4.0 grade scale and any standardized achievement test, they need to be in the 85th percentile and higher. Needless to say, we have a bunch that fit that criteria as well. The boys and girls will receive a, a certificate with a gold seal and a blue lapel pin. So congratulations to the father. And once again, if you would hold your applause, the boys and girls line up down front for parents, please. Brittany Abernathy, Lisa Adams, Shamaria Beatty, Graham Bennett, Carrie Bozeman, Brandy Branch, LaShonda Broadway,
Cameron Buck, Christian Bush, Erica Carter, Megan Cheney, Quentin Dancy, Brittany Diggs, Keona Dockery, Makudu Dremmett, Ashton Gibbs, Aaron Graves, Josh Harper, Jamie Harris, James Harvin, Matthew Henderson, Kelsey Hooper, Naomi Keeter, Shanice Jones, Tia Lasker, Amber McCravey, Clay McClain, Saeed Muhammad, Tierra Moore, 